Hello, I am now a Let's Player. Yes. Shut your mouth! Know your role! Contrary to before when I made that other video and made assumptions on how to be a good Let's Player. So what I'm going to do is reinforce my knowledge, reimburse my past knowledge, and respond to feedback that was delivered on the first video. But first I must ask, why Let's Playing? I mean, don't let that catch you off guard, you need to ask yourself that. And there's plenty more zen where that came from. Is it to do with improvisation? Sharing video game experience? What about it to you makes it different to reviews, parodies, etc? To me, it's like a long-term project. I mean, that's where the true quality lies. See how long you can make something stand for. So anyway, tips. Gameplay. Now when I said do whatever interests you, what I mean is this will most likely amplify your commentary. You'll stay on topic and talk about your knowledge regarding the game. If it is a bad game, then this might be a good opportunity to throw your criticism into the mix, whether it is satirical or not. Wheezing, use poison gas! Amen. Coughing! Wheezing! So yes, and like what I said last time, play good or bad game. It's purely interest. You can play a game to be trendy, but then ask yourself, what should a free man do? Okay, sorry, wrong concept. Ask yourself, am I doing this because I enjoy it, or am I just doing it for fame? If it's fame, then here's Kim Kardashian's ass. Kiss it. You know you want to. Again, don't go into the repetitive side of gaming. Pokemon is okay because there's an escalating story that goes on all the way through the game, but something repetitive gets boring very quick. If you are going to be first of many to attempt to record a game, prepare yourself. Know what you're getting yourself into. Be different than the rest. If you're looking for views as a newcomer, then doing a common game might not be the best thing to do. But then again, do whatever you feel most comfortable with, it'll just require more sharing. However, this kind of thing is based on chance, keep in mind. Someone big might share it or they might not. Who knows? Be sure to cut out unnecessary footage and excessive deaths, you know, Pokemon Wild Encounters, who gives a piss? Commentary! Introduce yourself! Yes! Recap from where you got off last time! Yes! Welcome back to Pokemon Black. Last time we beat the second gym leader and also got to get us be a star. Yeah. Gotta work on improvisation there. This is to get up to speed with things and to remind people of who and where you are. You know, they could have clicked on your video by accident. Lol. Be factual when you can. Maybe reveal some facts and secrets about the game. Don't spoil a story. Be suspenseful. Catch your breath once in a while because you don't have to rush things. Critique an observation, like for example, noticing glitches and stuff like I did in Sonic Adventure. Screw what I said about rambling on. This is most likely going to occur in Let's Playing. Just if you, just if you, just if you, just if you, just if you did this, that would be a different story. Just that different story. I mean, you're not going to just keep talking about shoes for the next five minutes. However, don't really go off topic. This is why I've kind of gone off a few Let's Plays because after a while, kind of gets boring and I don't know what kind of track they're on. My attention span runs loose and I kind of forget what they're talking about. Be enthusiastic, it adds character to who you are, but not too jolly. Might get annoying. Well, just be yourself, really. Imagine if you was a talk show host or a stand-up comedian. Although you're not gonna make up puns out of everything, that's what the commenters are meant to do, really, I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Be helpful by being clear on what you have to do. Walkthroughs will help with this. Unless you can act out the person reading it or that you don't have a monotonous voice, then reading dialogue, yes, you can do it. Sometimes it's even better. Like in my case. Gramps, I did it! I did it! I did it! Yeah. It basically just needs to be expression. I mean, sometimes it can be better if you read the dialogue because it reduces the awkwardness of not talking. I did mention doing the narrative approach, but this rarely works as a linear let's play. Unless you want to actually satirize the story, which is fine. Again, be yourself. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. B-A-R-B-I-E. Saw it. Post commentaries or live commentaries depend on your means of improvisation or comfort zone. Some people like to throw in as much info as they can. I've once or twice kind of had a mind block, I don't know what to say, so pretty much doing post commentary has helped me out with that. But when it comes to reactions, they're more realistic when live. Don't try to force anything, be more subtle, be yourself, don't be annoying, unless you are yourself when annoying. It's up to you whether you want to talk over cutscenes or not, I find it hardly matters, unless you want to be funny and interact with the characters. Don't just make noises, I had to cut out a bit of my footage because I just went ah, because the character said ah. And like I said, once again, no need to force anything. Just do it. If it's your first time with anything, there's likely going to be mistakes. And you need people to criticize because that's how you work up the ladder. And pursue your fans as well. Maybe your fans can give you criticism. I'm gonna go into more detail with group commentaries. Banter, banter, banter. It's fucking funny. Insult the hell out of each other and do what you folks do best. 
otherwise I'll end you. Not too many people, four or five at maximum, unless it's a drunk commentary. Just make sure you're not all trying to talk at once, you're being polite, otherwise if someone is talking at once, boot them. They are not worth it. Okay, if they're really friends, just tell them and then next time they'll improve. If not next time, then just kick them up the bum. There's two types of group commentaries I like to categorize them as. There's the social commentaries and the anti-social commentaries. Not very suitable names, but whatever. Social commentaries is when you get everyone in a room and you commentate that way. And social commentaries is when you communicate online. So for anti-social commentaries, this is one that I should probably guide out. If you both have decent microphones or good internet connection, then synchronizing footage will be ideal. Otherwise, then pretty much what you should do, I think, render the actual gameplay video, then send it to your friend that you are going to uh, be commentating with, and then both press play at the same time and make sure you are using both the same video players with the same versions. That's as far as I can help with that. Recording! I'm gonna get a bit technical here. For your HD throughout your console, use the Elgato Game Capture card, sorry it sounds Spanish, the Roxio Capture card or HD PVR. These will all record. PVR I believe can also record standard definition output as well as the dazzles that you can pick up for a very cheap price if you just want to record that kind of stuff. For the computer, I believe fraps can work very well if your computer is powerful enough. But I believe more technical people have recommended other kinds of software now. The full version of Bandicam is an example because apparently it doesn't take up as much processing power so it doesn't make your game lag as much. There is also another piece of software called the MSI Afterburner. I've tried to use it but I can't. I'd have to look at a manual or something but it does seem a bit quite complex. Camtasia is only good if you're bothered about limited frame rate. I use it to record my DS gameplay but nothing that leaves watermarks. Professional is good sometimes. Audio recording will imply software such as Audacity. Either record on a separate system, so if you have a computer and a laptop, record on a laptop if you want, or on the same system but don't leave too many programs running at the same time. No camera recording, even though this camera is pretty good, I will not use it to record my TV. Only if you can make it look at least close to the assisted device footage or the actual raw gameplay footage, but it is quite risky. I am trying to teach how to make a good let's play not just a let's play. If you are looking for a good microphone, the Snowball microphones have been proven to be pretty good. This is the microphone I had, which is the Samsung CO1U. It costs around 50 to 70 pounds. I think I bought it for about 50. And that is actually quite cheap for a mic of this quality. What I sometimes do is duplicate the audio layers and then pan one from left and the other to right. So it kind of makes this surround sound audio. Kind of makes it a bit more like a large diaphragm microphone. I will be saving up to purchase a road condenser mic, those things are quite expensive, around £200. It will work wonders and I'll need to buy an audio interface because it uses phantom power processing thingamajiggy. But other microphones you can have a look at as well is the MXL990 and the AT2020. Obviously you'll need to record with headphones so it doesn't pick up the background noise and uh, record with less echoes, same with this room. Oh yes, do not save the game until you know that all the footage has been properly saved. If autosave is mandatory, then there's nothing you can really do about it. It just means checking everything is okay before the recording starts, but you should probably do that anyways. These kind of precautions will involve checking your tasks, not having too many tasks running, like I said. And yes, storage space. Imagine if you go halfway through the video and it says memory full. Drinking is the only thing that can solve your problem there. I wouldn't really recommend Movie Maker for this, and preferably something that adds to more layers. And by layers I mean video layers, audio layers, and etc. I mean, Movie Maker is passable, but not ideal. That's all I'll say for that. You can use it, but it's preferred not to. And I said last time about downloading for the reviews thing. Why the hell did I endorse that? I mean, personally, there's someone still supplying the footage for someone else, so they should be somewhat credited. Compress the audio to avoid distortion and sound if you do shout. And yes, I'd say render in HD, it's the dawn of a new day now. Sometimes it's not recommended, but for some cases, the sound can be enhanced with HD if you have a good enough microphone. Don't cluster with annotations, just use them when they're appropriate. Now this is a very interesting one, because you should really save the video project as a template to use for other episodes, just so you don't have to fiddle about, or at least not fiddle about as much. Time limit for each part, I'd probably say roughly 15 to 20 minutes, but you can go over if it's a feature length, or roughly under, it doesn't really matter. I mean, the extremes would pretty much be two minutes for one part, that would pretty much be an extreme, or four minutes. I mean, you should pretty much be able to tell when your video is appropriate length. Just take into account how much a video should contain, and people's attention spans. 
uploading. I feel like a drama school teacher. Review the video, make sure you got what you wanted. No hesitation, believe in yourself because we believe in you. Make the title attractive. Maybe each episode could have a name. Attractive thumbnail, maybe. Plenty of tags, links in the description. And it's best to upload an MP4 and render an MP4. It just is. Misc. Share. Join in communities. I'm a part of Yaosh and we're always looking for new members, I think. Are we? Probably. And just any other forums which I can't name because I don't know. No spam. None. Oh, go on then. This is only my personal trait, but I wouldn't really make Let's Playing your own personal source of entertainment. As of Nintendo's recent actions and the excuse for creativity, there will be room for innovation. Someone actually mentioned in the last video that PewDiePie does all the don'ts. That is true. But then you could probably look at the demographics and see the majority of the fan base. I'm not hating, just uh, pointing out who he appeals to. You know, others such as Nerdcubed, Yogscast, Game Grumps, Runaway Guys all have different kind of fan bases and different styles. So my tips aren't absolute. People will like things for different reasons. I mean, as for me, it's probably because I'm charming, I'm happily narcissistic in a good way, I'm villainous, uh, like to torture people in games. People like that kind of shit for me. It just works, you know? And I'm very vulgar. I'm not afraid to be racist because I joke about with it. I shouldn't really be saying all this stuff, should I? I'm uh, looking at the computer for this one to respond to the comments. How to be a good Let's Player. Ban all of your fanboys and all of those idiotic others. End. Also, don't do Let's Plays, do Minecraft and shit like that. Now you are ready to become a Let's Player. Thanks. Well, hello, Mr. Smug. Some people asked last time about the matched ID warnings. Unless you're part of a gaming network, then it can be quite hard to get your gaming videos monetized. How to apply is go to their website or YouTube and follow their steps. Such networks include the GameStation, TGN, Social Blade, Yaosh, Machinima. The one thing they will ask is that you have a minimum amount of subscribers. I think for Yao it's 1,500. So basically in that time you're going to be have to thinking about how you're going to establish yourself, not just how you're going to get paid. Practice my friend, because being good in high regards isn't easy. People ask all the time how do I make my DS skins for my Let's Plays. I've answered this already, click this video because I've got a whole video on it. And don't be nervous about your debut. Hesitation on the road will fail your test. This comment says, do I have to jailbreak my PS3 if I want to use that? Absolutely not. To record gameplay, you'll just need one of the capture cards I mentioned. If people are wondering which is the best one, most people say Elgato, because it's quick and easy and it's quite small as well. PVRs take up a lot of space. I will show you what a PVR is, I just haven't used it in a while. Try and find a good place for setting this up. You know, I hardly ever use that because most of my gameplay is on the computer. Do not ask me where to get ROMs, Google what you need. And that's pretty much all from me. I wanted to make this video now because a lot of people keep pointing out flaws in my old video. I kind of wanted to make something a bit more updated so you can understand my frustration. And I hope I helped with this video. Thank you and lights out. You know, when I come to think about it, I hardly see videos from other people defending other stereotypes. Instead, it's from people who themselves are labelled by society. And in a way, it does make me feel ashamed for all the people who feel like they have a major lifestyle. Work! Work! You bastard! Fucker! Yeah, there's one working one and one that doesn't even fucking work! What the fuck?